Hey, this is Chris at Talon Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at The Complex, a full motion video game released in 2020. It was developed by Wales Interactive and Good Gate Media. <coughs> the Complex is a live action, interactive cinema, a choose your own adventure, sci-fi thriller. The story pits you in the middle of a bioweapon attack on London, locked down in a laboratory with both time and air running out. System requirements are very low. Most any PC running Windows 7 or newer should have no trouble running this one. Check the video description for more detail. Let's have a look at some of the main aspects of the game. The complex features relationship and personality tracking influenced by your decision making throughout and a possibility of eight different outcomes. Your interactions with other characters have consequences and are measured during the game and influence scenes. Additionally, each decision and interaction affects your character's personality which is also broken down for you once you've completed the game. The game features real actors such as Michelle Millette from Letterkenny, Kate Dickey from Game of Thrones, and Al Weaver from Grantchester. Not exactly A-list stars, but certainly names in the film industry nonetheless. The Complex belongs to a series of full motion video games by Wales Interactive, and plays similarly to most games in the genre with a simple point and click interface. No real keyboard input is required. The game essentially consists of a video interrupted by a pause to make a choice, whether it be to make a life or death decision, a dialogue option, or how to proceed in solving a problem. Nothing requiring a lot of input, and if you like, you can force a pause in the action with each choice to help facilitate a live stream if that's your gig. Graphics and overall video quality were excellent. Special effects, makeup, and most everything else in the visual presentation was well put together and felt polished, except that I found the transitions going in and out of decision making time a bit abrupt. There's certainly room for improvement here to smooth out the overall experience. Sound effects were good while the music was okay but nothing to write home about. It was mostly atmospheric but did help to fill out any dead air. Acting for the most part was very good. I think most of the actors and Michelle Mallette in particular did a great job making their roles believable with a few exceptions. The story was a bit weird but that's okay. It's fiction and seemingly far-fetched but perhaps plausible these days. Who knows? In any case, it was enjoyable if not particularly deep. As I described earlier, you watch video and then make a choice, rinse and repeat. Simple and easy to control without any real thought required, it amounts to watching a movie where you control the ebb and flow, and simple enough that grandma can pick this one up and have a go without really getting frustrated. Each playthrough takes less than 90 minutes, but there are many choices to explore towards the 8 available endings. There's also some replay value here, and it is fun to play with friends all hashing out the decisions together. The game amounts to a B movie and feels a bit like one of those movies that comes out a bit after a major motion picture is released, and with slightly different wording in the title and a nearly identical plot. The game has some laughable elements going on, such as toilets without water feeds or drains, computer hacking and coke coming out of Mach 3, picking up metal right after being in fire, and but when it comes down to it, it's still entertaining, just don't take it too seriously. Overall, I found it fun to run through, and if you enjoy low-budget thrillers, you'll enjoy this one too.